I'm so excited. Just look at these ready to go raised beds I picked up locally for next to nothing. This weekend, I'm going to be busy filling them up, ready to plant as soon as I've finalized their exact positioning. There's a lot to consider when planning a new vegetable garden, from what to grow where, to the finer details that will make your gardening easier and all the more enjoyable. This video should help you out as we share five things to consider when planning your new edible garden. Where sun and shade fall is an essential consideration because it will determine how quickly and healthfully your crops will grow. Almost all vegetables grow best in full sun in all but the hottest regions, but plan to reserve the sunniest spots for warmth loving crops like tomatoes and peppers. Spend some time in your garden and make a note of where the sunshine falls at different times of the day and consider how this will change over the course of the year. Remember, shade cast by deciduous trees in summer won't be there after they have shed their leaves in autumn, which is good news for winter crops like kale, spring cabbage and Asian greens. Consider the position of the midday sun and plan beds so that taller crops aren't shading shorter ones or grow plants that can tolerate shade such as salads and leafy greens behind your taller crops. Check the link in the video description below for more on how to cope with shade. A busy kitchen garden requires a nerve centre, a place for all the propagation, potting on and other essential jobs to occur. So be sure to include a bench space, old desk or even a repurposed kitchen sink to work on your seedlings and plants. It will need to be under cover or capable of being covered and you'll need space close by to put all those plants. If you haven't got the space or budget for a full sized greenhouse, a cold frame will suffice and it's easy to make one from scraps. Companion planting, when plants are grown next to each other for the benefit of one or both, is a very sensible practice, yet one that's often overlooked. By growing, for example, French marigolds among your tomatoes, you can minimise the risk of aphids. While growing nasturtiums close to brassicas like cabbage can help to lure pests like caterpillars away from your crop. Check out our garden planner. You can use it to find perfect companion plants for your vegetables by simply selecting a crop or crops, then clicking on the companion planting button to reveal suitable companions, which can then be dropped into place on your plan. Plants need water, and even in relatively moist, temperate climates, you'll still need to irrigate from time to time. Make sure your new vegetable garden has some means for easy watering close to hand, such as an outdoor faucet or tap. Mains water is precious, so supplement it where you can with stored rainwater, using water barrels to collect water off roofs, whether your house, greenhouse or shed. Water barrels take up very little space, but will provide a fantastic source of natural rainwater much preferred by plants. And if you're on a water meter, it'll save you money too. Finally, make sure you can easily get around your vegetable garden. Fail to include paths and you'll find it harder to tend your crops without standing on and compacting the soil. You should be able to comfortably work on beds from your paths and ideally have enough room for a wheelbarrow to pass through. Aim for a width of at least 18 inches or 45 centimetres, though paths of 24 inches, that's 60 centimetres, are even easier to navigate. Paths can be paved or gravelled, but they don't have to be. You can lay wood chip, sawdust or some other biodegradable material that will need to be topped up once or twice a year. Or just leave paths between beds as grass that is then mowed regularly. These simple considerations are all too easy to forget, but will make your gardening so much easier. I'm sure you've got some really exciting plans of your own this growing season, and we'd love to hear about them. So do drop us a comment below and tell us what you're up to. Check your subscribe too, and give this video a gardener friendly thumbs up before you head off. I'll catch you next time.